Let's do a little trivia as we talk through the Dukes of Hazard. Let's see how folks do. Hold off on your answers for a few seconds in the chat to allow everyone to kind of think through their own response. And uh, I will ask my friends Jack, Pat, and Ian just to ignore the chat right now. And let's just see how things go. So, all right. I'm going to fire up the trivia engine here for the Dukes of Hazard. Terrell, I'm excited to see how you do, my friend. Here we go. Question number one. What type of car did Bo and Luke drive on the show? Was it a Chevy Camaro, Dodge Charger, Ford Mustang, or a Porsche 911? Were they fancy fellers <laughs> with a Porsche 911? All right. Ian, I'll start with you. You got it. Do you have a uh, vote on this one? <laughs> this is like the worst question I could start with. I'm not a car guy at all. And as much as I love the Dukes of Hazard, I know nothing about the car. But I, I mean, I, I of course, it's awesome. not a Porsche. And I don't think it's a Ford Mustang. I'm going to go with the, uh, just by way of elimination. I don't think it's a Camaro. I think it's a Dodge Charger. I, I, that's going to be my guess. Pat, do you want to help? Do you want to? Do you argue with Ian on that, or? <laughs> yeah, I got her. Ian, I'm sorry. Everybody, and I mean everybody knows. <laughs> everybody knows that. You know, you can tell just by how far it could jump. Only <laughs> portion. <of it. laughs> oh, a Dodge Charger! I was right. Wow, you did. You did well. Good I work. I can't. Well, get on there, Ian. Yeah. Dead on. <laughs> All right, Pat, this one's yours. This one's coming your way, my friend. Uh oh. Let's see. And and Ian, by the way, I am like you. I, well, I don't know if this is true. I don't know if you're exactly this way, but I am a utility guy when it comes to a car. I don't I'm not one of those guys that reads the car magazines and oogles the car yeah. magazines as if they were a, a men's magazine you know I'm, I'm not i just don't do that a car is utility to me it gets me from point a to point b unless it's the batmobile and then if then, <laughs> then all bets are off and all bets are off yep yeah okay pat why are Bo and luke on probation as this sh as the show starts was it bootlegging, public disorder, theft, or vandalism? Well, considering where it is, <laughs> and uh, considering how white bread the show was, <laughs> I want to think bootlegging moonshine, but <laughs> the fact is, I really don't know. So I'm going to go with that. Yeah. Okay. Bootlegging Let's see moonshine. Jack, do you want to weigh in on this? I'm, one? I'm pretty sure it's bootlegging. Yeah, that is the correct answer. Nice job, guys. So far, we're two out of two. Uh, and when when we've had the first three questions, I'll ask everyone in the chat to tell me how you're doing as well. So this one's yours, Jack. Okay. What is Bo and Luke Duke's CB handle? Is it the dynamic duo, Lost Sheep, Moonshine Forever? or the troublemakers. Wow, I don't know. I'm just gonna take a guess of this one. Okay. Well, we just talked about moonshine, so I'm gonna go with moonshine forever. Moonshine forever. And, and that's just a guess. I don't I have no idea. All right, and Ian, do you, do you remember? Do you want to back Jack up or is this a, <laughs> anybody's I guess? I This is an anybody's guess one right here. I don't know this one at all. Okay, well, let me give you a little bit of additional information. The answer is Lost Sheep. Ah, oh, that was and, my second choice. And if you remember correctly, Daisy's handle was Bo Peep. Okay. There were rare occasions when a writer of a particular episode said that hers was Country Cousin, but more often than not, she was Bo Peep and they were the Lost Sheep. Oh, so so Bo Peep. Bo Peep. I met one of the one of the cousins who used to watch Bo Peep. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> we're not going there, Pat. We're not going. Yeah, you, you have to explain to some of the younger viewers what a CB is. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I think most of our viewers do know, but you're okay. right. I think there's probably some viewers, younger viewers, if they were to stumble across this, would not know that Citizen Band. And boy, oh boy, was that big in oh, yeah. the late 70s, early 80s. That was the only that, way to communicate on the road. Is that like an iPhone? I don't know. <laughs> Cooler. I think it was, think it was cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like that, good buddy. <laughs> yep, and no subscription needed, right? Mm -hmm. Once you had a CB and you had it installed, you weren't paying a monthly uh, no. data rates and all right. that kind of crap that we're stuck with with phones these days. Do you all know right. if that's still a thing, though? Like, do, do truckers still use Citizen Band? Or do, are they just kind of abandon it for... I don't know. Uh, yeah, you got to think with all the technology out there, there's probably it probably isn't used as prevalently, but I wouldn't be surprised if there are still folks that are using some sort of two way radio or something out there. All right, let's see how folks are doing. Terrell is three of three. You can't, couldn't fool him with any of those questions. And Thrash Pondo, welcome. Good to have you with us, my friend, is two of hey, three. Thrash. Uh, out of cop 67 is three of three. Paul Rotter is three of three. Uh, Cindy D is 10 for good buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Bacon's three of three. Out of cops three of three. Van Passerman's three of three. Tune on white, or tune on white, no crust is three of three. Uh, Tom, our friend Tom, says the truckers still do use CBs. So okay. good. That makes me feel good. No, it's I don't know why, but that's a good feeling knowing that they're still out you there. You know those Smokies are out there. Yeah, exactly. You got to be warned of the Smokies. By the way, speaking of Smokies, today, today in 1979, uh, no, 77, uh, Smokey and the Bandit premiered in New York. Really? Yep. Wow. Today was the day. Uh, Daily Dan says he knows all of these so far, so he's three of three. Raja, 1938's two of three. Hungry Jerks, three of three. John Collins, two of three. Tracy, Roth Myers, three of three. Steve Powell, three of three. Boy, oh boy. Dolph Quick, two of three. Georgia's two of three. Stephen is three of three. Lance is three of three. Great to have everybody doing so well. And we're back to you, Ian. Back to you. you know, <laughs> I, I haven't regretted stopping right here to get scores. This is a great, the great no, shot here of Daisy and her, uh, the dynamic duo in action. I think okay. her just went up. Yep. <laughs> Question four. All right, Ian. Okay. What famous country musician was the narrator on the Dukes of Hazard? Was it Buck Owens, Jerry Reed, Mel Tillis, or Waylon Jennings? I believe it's Waylon Jennings. You are correct. Uh, you yes. are correct. That is the correct answer. So we are three of four so far. But who of them that? performed on the show? Oh, yeah. Besides, well, Waylon yeah. sang the... Waylon what? sang the main them? theme. I'm, I'm trying to think. I think Mel and Buck also performed on the show. I don't believe Jerry Reed ever did. Did I do Good okay, you. Pat? You nailed it. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. yeah uh, although one would think that Jerry Reed might. He, he he had was kind of in that whole thing with Smokey and the Bandit. And, right. Yeah. yeah they All had right. big, star, big stars come through. Yeah. Oh, Amazing. sure did. Yeah. Lots of great music, to your point. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, Pat, your turn, my friend. Who was Hazard County's best mechanic and friend to the Duke boys? Was it Cletus, Clyde, Cooter, or Coy? Cooter! Indeed it was. it was. Cooter. Great actor. Wish I could remember his name at the moment. I have it on the tip of my tongue, but I'm... He was in politics, wasn't he? he ran I don't for know. Did he end up going into politics? He ran... I don't know if it was Congress or local... He was. He was in... He ran for something. I know that. Here's what Willis Loomis says, says Senator Cooter. I know so, that's what Gopher. Gopher. Go I don't even yeah. know what senators do. Well, nothing. <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. It's just and like they, they argue do. a lot. You know. <laughs> so, so, yeah, he became. someone else says he became a congressman. We know he was in politics, so you are correct. Is that what, I get, that what I get you get a point for that? You do. Right. Is that point. any contacts? Or, <laughs> is that you, 
Is that you, you contact when your car doesn't start as a senator? Is that how that works? Yes. Oh. <laughs> but, you have to, but you have to know the car. What car? Do you <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I was... I trust AAA more than that, but uh, <laughs> Rare Medium says he was a congressman from Georgia. Wow, okay. congressman. Yeah, Ben right. Jones right. wasn't right. a real name. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No longer in politics, runs Cooters. It's about three places. I'm guessing Cooters is a restaurant. <laughs> I'm it's a mechanic that. shop. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe it's an auto shop. Yeah. <laughs> the oil change there while you eat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Who am I up to? Is it your turn, Jack? Yeah, I think so. Okay. How many seasons? Oh, the dreaded how many seasons oh question. God. How many seasons did Dukes run on CBS? Well, I'm going to say seven or eight, but I'm going to go seven. Yes, sir. Good oh. work. Nice. That was nice. A lucky guess. <laughs> done. Well done. Well, we knew it was five was the fake yeah. Duke season. Yeah. And we knew it lasted at least a couple more. And so seven is the correct answer. Congrats to all those who got that. So we're now at, I think that was question six, right? So yes. let's see how folks are doing. Uh, Patriarch of the Sith, who I, I haven't welcomed. Ah. Great to have you with us. Is three of six. Uh, Terrell is still six of six. Uh, yes, Dolph, we were counting the fake Dukes in that season because we have to, because... I believe the fake Dukes were on for like 16, 17 episodes, somewhere in that range. And then Bo and Luke came back. Sadly, you know what would have been cool? I really, even though no one loves the fake Dukes, it would have been cool to have one episode where they work together on something. And instead it was just this little lame tacked on handoff between the four characters. One scene, uh, a little bit disappointing. They could have at least given us that. Uh, let me go back here. Uh, Scott McGraw, six of six. Paul Rodder, six of six. Oda Cobb, six of six. Uh, Tuna on white, six for six. David says ran for six years, boy, plus mid-season replacement. That would have been the seventh season, yeah. Danny's got them all so far. Uh, Cindy D, six of six. Van Pasterman, six of six. Tracy's rocking it tonight, six of six. Our friend TP is five of six. Crazy Horse, six of six. John Collins, three of six. Willie Loomis, six of six. Thanks for that help with the political stuff, Willie. Tom's five of six. Uh, Stephen, six of six. Keith, welcome. Good to have you with us. Six of six. Lance is six of six. Steve, six of six. Otakop, six of six. Dolph is five of six. And I think we better get moving. George is five of six as well. Moving on, Ian, you're back yeah. on the board. We've only okay. had one so far as a team. So, and that's with, and I guess I give, give Jack a bonus point. And I think I deserve bonus points for knowing that it was Mel and Buck that was on the show. So, but we're, 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 we're five of six so far. Okay. Right. Question seven, Ian, what was the name? If you were listening earlier, Ian, <laughs> what was the name of Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane's dog? Was it Buddy, Buster, Flash, or Lucky? Oh, you got to be kidding me. You got to <laughs> be was. kidding me. I, was. <laughs> I, even had my I, was, I thought it was a, a girl's name. Was it Lucky? <laughs> oh, no. Pat, will you fix this for us, please? <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> I was listening. It was Flash. That's right. Flash. That's what I meant. That was my second choice. <laughs> Flash was portrayed by several yeah. bath and hounds during the series, but the oh, most regular yeah. one was a dog Sandy. named Sandy. That's where that's what I was thinking. I don't think you said the name. I think you said Sandy. Oh, oh I said both of them, Ian. I said oh, both okay. of them. All right. That's why I was on there. I was thinking. I thought it was a girl's name. I I could have sworn it was a girl's <laughs> name. All right. Well, here's the thing. Uh, interesting thing about. <laughs> Flash, by the way, was throughout the show, it, it, Flash changed genders a number of times. Uh, James Best would refer to that dog as both a he or a she, depending on, on various episodes. And he really grew close to Sandy, by the way, and and took care of Sandy for a number of years after after the show ended. Real, uh, you know, James Best is a, just a great guy. He was a great man. Really, yeah. really was. Sure was. 
Okay. Well, we're now six of eight. Moving on. Pat. <laughs> Redemption. Help us out, my friend. Here we go. What character was spun off into another TV series? Cooter, Daisy, Enos, or Roscoe? Yeah. Oh, no. You kind of got me there, but I'm going to guess it was Roscoe. That's a guess. Jack, you want to help Pat out? I was going to go with Roscoe, too. Enos, Enos was the correct oh, answer. Man. I never would have guessed that. Deputy Enos, Sonny Schroyer, I think is the name yeah. of the actor, left for a period of time. Oh, I think that's it was right. during the fourth, somewhere around the fourth season, perhaps. And uh, it didn't last long, maybe six or seven episodes. And But before the season was over, he was back on the Dukes. So. Yep, so we Boy. are now, we're, we're struggling a little bit. Six of, <laughs> are we six or are we five oh, no. of? I am, partly. <laughs> yeah, five of eight. Well, let's do one more and then we'll see how folks are doing. Uh, Jack, this one's yours. The name of Boss Hog's wife. Lula. Fifi, Lulu. 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 Lulu, Mabel, or Trixie? Lulu, you said that kind of definitively, like you knew the answer to that one. Nice work. Thanks. Nice work. We're six of nine. Folks, tell me how you're doing. Let's uh, get some Let's get some scores here on the board. I'm waiting. Come on. Put that score on there for me so I can flash it up here. No so one wants can... to tell me how they're doing. <laughs> so, Come you can, on. So, you, so you can flash it up there? Yeah, so, right like that. The, the flash. No real flash. No, well, well, I'll be quiet. <laughs> all right. Otakop's nine of nine. Daily Dan. Danny Staten's got them all still. Oh. Scott McGraw's eight of nine. Tuna on white, nine of nine. Cindy D nine for nine. Willie Loomis. You know what? We're just, we're not stumping these guys tonight. This is it for some serious Dukes fans. This is. Easy peasy stuff. Willie Lim Luma says no problem whatsoever. Nine of nine. Patriarch of the Sith is seven of nine. John, three of seven. He must have had to step out a little bit. Missed a couple of questions. Paul's got them all. Steve, where's Paul? Paul's got them all. Steve Powell's nine of nine. Paul Rotter, nine of nine, as he said. All right. Crazy Horse says, <laughs> ask a hard one. So here's the deal, Crazy Horse. I'm going to, if that is your name. I'm going to put you on the spot. You folks, I'm going to ask you to hold off on this last question. This is Crazy Horse's question. Let's let Crazy Horse answer this question. Final question. 10 of 10. Mal Havoc says these are all easy too. Here we go, Crazy Horse. The Dukes of Hazard was inspired by what movie? Cannonball Run. Convoy, Moonrunners, or Smokey and the Bandit? I'm not going to post anybody's answer but Crazy Horses. So go ahead and put that up here for us. Let's see if this is hard enough for you. The Dukes of Hazard was inspired by what 1975 movie? I'm going to give you the year. Maybe it was 74. <laughs> Other folks are answering. Don't answer. Let 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 crazy horse answer. We're waiting and must have been a hard one. <laughs> it must have been a hard one. Crazy horse says Smokey and the Bandit. So, uh, do any of my illustrious guests know the answer to this question? Pat, what's the answer? Well, I'm uh, a high percentage sure it was Cannonball Run. I think that came out too late, didn't it? Well, Smokey and the Bandit. Moon did. Runners. Well, see, don't ever Moon. trust an expert. <laughs> Moon Runners <laughs> is the correct answer. Moon Runners, interestingly, oh. was oh, had, wow. guess what? It had Waylon Jennings as the balladeer. Wow. Just like narrating the, the movie. And it had Uncle Jesse. At, the named was Uncle Jesse, the character. It had Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane in it. 
I believe Boss Hog had a different name and Bo and Luke had different names. Uh, but the show's creator, Guy Waldron, uh, who wrote and directed it, later went on, repackaged it, repurposed it, made it more family friendly, and it became Dukes of Hazard. So more than just actually inspired, if you watch Moonrunners, you will f very much be watching an early, early pilot episode of the Dukes of Hazard. It's really hard to find. I want to say it's on YouTube if you dig hard enough, hmm. but uh, you definitely you can watch the trailer on, on YouTube. And I vaguely recall, I believe that's where I watched it. I don't know if it's been taken down, but I watched it on YouTube quite a while ago. Dave. So, yes. Did, 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 I have a friend who was in the film industry, he was a, he was a filmer, he was a, a cameraman, and he worked on the Dukes of Hazard. I interviewed him one time for the podcast, and he told me a little insider secret. He said, because the Dukes of Hazard was a weekly television show, they did not always get permission to do the things that they did. Quite often, they would just kind of do it and hope nobody would, uh, you know, stop them or whatever. You know, some of the chase scenes and running through town and things like that. They didn't always cross their T's and dot their I's 